Welcome back, everybody. In the last video, you saw what not to do with a fiberglass mold. Well, in this video, here's where we made a major mistake when we started demolition on the boat. Uh, you can see we put the cap back on the boat. Unfortunately, I don't have video of putting the cap back on. But uh, when we put it back on, we had a very large gap on each side where the hull had spread out wider than the cap. And that's because we didn't support the hull when we pulled the cap off. So major lesson learned, support the hull with some kind of cradle on the outside or, or maybe internal supports on the inside screwed in uh, so that that hull doesn't spread when you pull the cap off and when you dem demolish all the, the structure inside. So we took about a month break when this happened because we really didn't know what to do. Uh, I had tried just prying on the, the hull, trying to get it inside the cap and there's just no way. I mean, the, the gap on each side at its greatest point was right around three and a half, four inches. And uh, there was no coaxing the hull inside the, the cap, especially with how rigid it was now with the floor structure in and all the stringers and bulkheads and, and all that. So after about a month of, of thought, uh, came up with the idea of just taking about an eighth inch thick piece of plywood um, and bridging the gap. So we went ahead and made a, a, a pattern and cut the plywood out to, to match the curve and uh, epoxied it in with a thickened epoxy and went ahead and put that, that lip, that about inch and a half to two inch lip around the, the perimeter of the hull and then bridge the gap from that lip up to the, the cap on the, the gunnel there. So uh, overall, it was super strong with just the plywood and the epoxy with no fiberglass on it. So I felt, I felt good about that, knowing that once I added the fiberglass to it, uh, it's going to be that much stronger. So earlier on in the build, I, I really was not good at, at taking video and, and narrating what I was doing and, and partly because I didn't know that I was going to put the boat on YouTube, but um, yeah, so this is one of the few videos I had earlier on and just showing that the finished product without the fiberglass, it actually looks kind of natural, kind of look, looks like the, the boat was supposed to be that way. And you'll see once the fiberglass is on it, it'll look more so like that. Uh, I went ahead with a thickened epoxy and gave a, a sharp edge at the top. So just ran the knife along the, the top and along the, the angled part just to get a sharp edge with the plan of later on just taking some sandpaper and, and rounding it off at the top. And then uh, would also take a sander and along the, uh, the edge just, just kind of straighten it straighten it out so uh, I think it came out good given the situation um, a lot better than it was before so uh, with four inch gap so, yeah overall I, I was happy with the result So once we got both sides complete with the wood bridging the gap, it was time for fiberglass. I put three layers of 1708 with the epoxy resin and uh, just draped it over the edge. I did one side before the other side. I wanted to get one side right and just work out the process before I started on the other side. And it came out really well. It, it's super strong. I mean, it's. I don't have any worries whatsoever about the strength of it. So. I was real happy with that. And I let the fiberglass hang over the edge and then later on uh, struck a line down, down the length of the boat and, and cut a straight line. And 
now to the next issue. How do I deal with the three layers of 1708 on top of the gunnel? And how do I transition to the, to the side? So I, I took those two popsicle sticks to get the angle and then built the jig just using the piece of plywood. Built a three quarter inch hole to get a rounded edge. I then took the jig and once I applied, I really just piled on thickened epoxy I took that jig and ran it down the length of the gunnel to get that rounded edge. And you can see the results there. It came out really well. And now for the fun part. Lots of fairing and lots of sanding. Fairing, sanding, fairing, sanding. This went on for like three days off and on, uh, mainly after work. Never really get a full day to work on the boat unless it's a weekend. So you can see the end result looks like a tugboat. But really as the boat build goes on you'll, you'll see once we add a bow rail and the, the windshield and eventually a t-top the boat takes on a totally different appearance and certainly once it's painted as well Out with the windows. The old ones leaked, they were cracked, and replacements probably would have leaked in a few years anyways, so decided to get rid of the windows because the interior of the cabin was going to be ahead. And so went ahead and took some half-inch plywood, covered up the hole, and then glassed it over with, I think, three layers of 1708 with epoxy. So on the starboard side, at the bow of the boat, there was a bad repair from some time ago. And when we had pulled the cap off, it was kind of glassed together in that one portion there, but lots of cracks and just didn't feel comfortable covering over it with fairing compounds. So went ahead and sanded down the gel, gel coat to bare glass and just put one layer of 1708 with the epoxy resin and uh, that covered up all the kind of the crazing and, and cracking and after that sanded it flush to the to the gel coat and then took the fairing compound and put several layers and, and fared it out. One thing I forgot to mention earlier on, and of course I don't have a video of it, but to put the fiberglass fabric up on the hull where it, where it flares out and it's basically upside down, to get it to stay up there, I soaked the area where it was going to go with, with resin, brush, brush it on really thick, and then I rolled up the piece of cloth and put it into a, um, a roller pan full of resin and just saturated it and then applied it to the to the bow uh, at the flare there and it it stayed up uh, enough that I could to roll it and get all the resin pushed out and no issues with it falling off. So after sanding and before I fare uh, I always vacuum it off really well and then wipe it down with acetone just to make sure it's clean dust free relatively dust free so they get a good bond with the fairing compound. So we're almost at 500 subscribers with this video. For those of you who have subscribed, thank you. And if you're enjoying the content and you haven't subscribed, uh, we ask that you please subscribe, leave a comment below, like, and uh, just help us grow with the channel so we can just keep putting content out. Thank you and we'll see you on the next video.